technique, of course, the paint that you've placed in the areas that are the darkest is just thick paint with only maybe a few drops of water on it and you put it into those uh, areas and you let it dry. When you want to manipulate the uh, paint by pulling it out, what you do is you reactivate the color that you have here and you would pull it out into any of the areas where you have the uh, lighter uh, value as I just did here on the side of her uh, cheek. Is that answering your question? And is there, I mean, is, I think you you pulled what, three or four times? Is there like a maximum of that point which, you know... Oh, you I've pulled uh, a you lot more in other pictures, so you could go on for quite a while. Okay. But and you have if, to make sure you get it on really, really thick, right? Yeah, yeah but I know remember, if you, if you washed any of this off, you can always augment it with additional paint afterwards. Oh, okay. So if I kept pulling this and just just became paler and paler and paler, I could still go back to my original mixture and then come back and uh, replace that. Okay. okay. And it has to be, is it totally dry or would, would it be able to pull before it was completely dry? It, it would be it better for it to be dry before dry. you pulled it. But then with each specific pulling, you should always dry it in between. Can you give us some tips on eyes? Like the pupils, whether it's a cat or a person, or is there anything we shouldn't, mistakes?